What's going on guys, Joe Rock here with the Xamarin 18th tutorial. And in this tutorial, what we're gonna be doing is loading a image into memory efficiently. Okay, so we essentially loaded it already in the 17th tutorial, but we didn't do it efficiently. And you won't really notice very much with the something like the what I'm using, just like a just like a simple icon. However, when we do start loading in high resolution pictures, you're gonna start noticing some lag, okay? And you guys might have already tried it in, on your own device and pulled up one of your high resolution pictures and seen, oh wow, this is really lagging from the time that I actually come into the gallery. Click this and it might take a while to come back here and actually load it, okay? And that's that's kind of, that's, that's exactly why that's what we're doing right now. And this might not be very exciting for you because it's not gonna be any kind of different. You're not gonna see anything, but it's definitely going to make your app a lot more responsive and a lot less of a memory hog, okay? So for those of you that have tried it from the last tutorial, you'll be able to see very, very much how much more efficient it is, especially the higher the more, the higher the resolution of the picture you're using, the more it's gonna be scaled down and the quicker that it's gonna be more responsive, okay? So let's go ahead and get started on this, okay? So here is the way that we were doing it before. And the new way is actually going to use a couple methods, okay? So, and it's actually a pretty common way to do it. Nothing fancy about it. Android uh, provides some documentation on it, okay? So, I'm just taking it and putting it into C sharp code, okay? So, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a method called, and we'll call it calculate calculate in sample size, okay? And this method will take three parameters okay let's take it options we'll call it options and it will take a requested width which is specified by us the programmer okay so this way we can tell it how much to scale it down all right let me add a little comment here all right so let's grab the height and this is the height of the actual picture, okay? Before it's scaled down, all right? So we'll grab the width and... All right, so we're gonna do more in this method. However, let's make another method before because that method's gonna call this method, okay? So let's have that one ready to go as well, all right? So this one's gonna pass back a bitmap, okay? And we'll call it decode bitmap from stream and it'll take a URI and we'll just call it data requested width and requested height okay so let's add a little comment here say decode with in just decode bounds and I'll explain what that means here in a second to check dimensions okay so what that's saying is essentially if in just the code bounds is true in the options then we don't actually want to load the mem the load the image into memory yet we first want to check it out we want to see how big is this how how big is this oh, we don't want that how big is the image you know so what if this image is just a huge image takes up a whole bunch of memory and if we don't check that we just load it into memory it could potentially crash our our app okay and we don't want that so first we want to actually not load it into memory but first take it from the stream and just check it out okay so that's really important to do okay so unless you absolutely trust to see that it's not going to be a very big image this is always good practice to do, okay? So we're gonna turn that on right here, okay? So in our options, here it is, decode, in just decode bounds, okay? And we wanna set that to true. And that's what I just said is basically, we wanna first check it out first, okay? So it's telling it, don't load it into memory yet. All right, so we'll use bitmap factory and we'll do decode stream and then we'll give it the stream this is all done. This is basically from, from, from the tutorial 17. We're taking the data that's returned from the intent. Okay. 
which is right here, and it gives us the, the image URI, and we basically take that, open an input stream, grab a stream, and then feed it into our bitmap, okay? So at this point, now we know the dimensions. And what we wanna do first now is scale it down, which we let the programmer specify, okay? So we'll do M sample size, all right? And we'll do options dot in sample size equals and then here we'll do calculate in sample size the method that we just created a, a few minutes ago pass it the options the requested width and requested height okay so that's all good to go okay so let's let's uh let's just jump back over here now that we kind of know what's going on and Let's finish up this method, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is if height is greater than requested height, or width is greater than requested width. Okay, so remember the height and the width is the actual height and width of the image before it's scaled down. And the requested height and width is the, is the method, is the, I'm sorry, the value that we are going to specify when we actually call decode bitmap from stream, okay? So let's make another local variable, call it n sample size, make sure that's capitalized. And we'll just initialize that, initialize that to one for right now, okay? So if it's higher than, if it's greater than the requested height and the width or the width is greater than requested width, it's basically bigger than what we want it to be, okay? So that's what that's saying, okay? So we'll say the image is bigger than we want it to be, okay? So let's go ahead and basically half it, okay? Half width, all right? And then what we'll do here is we're gonna basically keep calculating the sample size and then we're going to keep implementing or basically incrementing the sample size by a power of two and with that when we once we feed it back into here when we actually decode it again we'll be able to scale it down appropriately okay so let's do that so while half height and divided by the end sample size which initially is one but that's going to be increased quickly while that is greater than the requested height, so the requested height, and half width divided by the end sample size, okay, is greater than the requested width. So it's basically saying that to, to keep trying to find a sample size that's appropriate to pass back that has the around the same amount of the requested height okay so I hope that makes sense and the way we the way we do that is we want to just increment it by a power of two okay and that's why we do that okay so that's that's basically gonna keep trying to not so much scale it down but find the right sample size to keep incremented by to but to like to, to scale proportionally to okay so just keep on looping, keep on looping until we find that right size, okay? Now over here, last thing we wanna do is we want to, of course, return it. Ah, all right. So now that should go away, okay? So now we're returning an integer, it's happy, all right? Now we wanna come back to our original method and we actually want to decode the bitmap, okay? with their in sample size. Okay, so uh, the, the thing about this too now is we want to basically reinitialize the stream, okay? And the streams are a little weird. Sometimes you basically, if you try to decode the stream again without having to do this, then nothing's gonna come up, okay? That bitmap's gonna be null. And that's because the stream has already been read, okay? So then you can do like stream.position or stream.reset, but it's not supported for this stream type, okay? So the easiest thing to do right now 
and there might be other ways to do it, but the easiest way to do it is just kind of read in the stream again. And that's exactly what we're going to do, okay? It essentially reinitializes the stream. Give it the data. We must read again, okay? And then here's where we actually set the in just decode balance to false. So now this is saying, okay, now that we know the in sample size, we're gonna want to uh, actually load it into memory. Okay, so let's grab a bitmap. Bitmap factory and decode stream. Give the options. All right, and we'll actually finally return the bitmap. Okay, so that now that's happy. And up here, now all we need to do is, since this method returns a bitmap, all we need to do is just simply call it. Okay, so decode bitmap from stream. Okay, and we want to pass it the data, of course. So data dot data, the URI, and we want to actually give it a requested width and height. Okay, so we'll do like, I don't know, 150 by 150. All right. And there you have it. All right, so now it's going to call this guy and it's going to check it out and see what's going on. And it's going to get the sample, it's, it's going to create the sample size by using here with, with, with respect to the requested height and width, of course. All right, so that's what it's going to do here. It's going to find the appropriate sample size of the picture to give you. And then once we have that, we actually want to create the bitmap, return it, and then finally load it into memory. Okay, so we could do even something down here, like you know, if you all want, if you want to specify, like if sample size, uh, you could do like if in sample size is greater than I don't know sixteen or something, then you don't want to go past that or something like that. You don't want to, you don't want to have to scale it down that much, and then you could just maybe say return null or, or you know, do whatever you want to do with that. Okay, so but here we're gonna trust it but we're gonna want to make sure that it's scaled down to where we want it to be scaled down to, which is 150 by 150, okay? So let's go ahead and try and run that now. Make sure that we are, we are on the clear of any errors. All right, make a contact. All right, cool. So once again, you may have not noticed any kind of difference, you know, like, hey, you know, Joe, you just wasted 20 minutes of my life, you know? Don't worry, it'll be useful um, once you're actually using high resolution pictures, which nowadays is very common. So here, like I said, is, is all it is is just an icon with, with, I don't know the resolution of it, but it's probably very small compared to anything that's that has a high resolution with like the cameras nowadays. Okay, so this is a very, efficient way to do it and it'll save you in the end okay so it'll make your app most mostly not a memory hog and it'll make it more efficient and a lot more snappier okay so now we are done with the image view and we have an image inside of our image view okay so here is where we're actually going to want to send the data to the server using a web request okay so in the next tutorial i promise we're going to be start looking at web request and taking this image along with some other another some other parts of data like probably like the number and the name and all that and sending that to the server and de encoding it in 64 64 bit encoding decoding it to get it back to the client so we're going to get a look at that we're going to look at some json and you know serializing it with some json deserializing on the client so we're going to we're going to be busy with that okay so and when, once we have the knowledge of doing that then really working with that server and, and anything else is it's not too bad and really we can just start storing stuff on the server grabbing it because that's really what we're going to want to do notice when i close this app this goes away and and then that's it because that's because it's just in memory okay so once we have it on the server we can bring it back and always store it and make sure that we're not hogging up any memory on the device and there's a server out there that's kind of holding all that information for us okay so we will look into that in the next tutorial. Once again, thanks for watching, guys.